Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Angel with Angel Spiritual Messages. This is going to be a no contact check in for the sign of Gemini and all Gemini placements from January the 23rd through January the 30th. Um, keep in mind, if it doesn't resonate, please reverse the roles. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to pull one uh, angel answer oracle to get an idea of what's going on with you and your person you are in no contact with. One message for the sign of Gemini spirit. Help me understand what's going on with Gemini and this person in no contact. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys, if you enjoy the messages. One message, spirit, for the sign of Gemini and the person they're in no contact with. All right. No need to worry. So spirit is saying with this situation, there is no need to worry. Um, that is the highlighted message spirit has for you. I'm going to go ahead and pull some hidden truth oracles. Um if it doesn't resonate, guys, check your other placements, okay? What message do you have for the sign of Gemini and this no contact with their person from January the 23rd through January the 30th, Spirit? Let's get into it. Want to know what this person has to say to you, Gemini? Any messages, Spirit, from this person to Gemini? There is one. Another one, another one, anything else? Okay. Okay. This person has a lot to say to you. Um, we will also do some more oracles and we will clarify with, um, the tarot. So what this person has to say is I know that I crossed the line with you. So this person knows that um, when you guys got to a period of no contact, they may have ghosted you. Um, they may have said something that they shouldn't have said. And it has them reminiscing and um, overthinking this situation over and over in their head on how they may be able to bring this back together. I feel you even when we're apart. So it feels like that this is some type of soul connection that you have with this person because they can feel you in their energy. Even when you guys are not together, this person can definitely feel you. I don't react when people mention you. Yep, that's the denial stage. That's what people do when they have these strong connections with folks is that they pretend that you don't exist. And they think if they pretend that you don't exist, that you will go away like a genie. Bling, you're gone. But it doesn't work that way, right? Um, you and I were too young. I feel like this was a relationship that um, uh, did not have a lot of years behind it. Um, and this person feels like, uh, I don't know enough of uh, Gemini to make that decision. And they got confused because the connection was so strong. I know I was a distraction from your pain. They feel like um, that you were freshly out of a situation and that you may have been using them as a rebound. But I don't think that's the case. This is just this person being up in their head. I knew exactly what I was doing. Of course, they pulled away from this situation um, knowing what they were doing because they were in fear and they were afraid. Um, I am becoming a better person. Yeah, now they're going within and trying to figure out what they can do uh, to get themselves together so that they can come back to you whole and intact. And I hope it works. Uh, my life is not as together as it seems. So they knew that they were raggedy um, when they met you. They knew that they weren't ready for this situation and they played the game and then they tried to make it seem like it was your fault that it didn't work out. But spirit is saying in the highlighted message, no need to worry. So I am going to pull some a mirror on this spirit give me a little bit more um for this no contact period for the sign of gemini and the person they are in no contact with for um january the 23rd through january the 30th give me a little bit more to give gemini some clarity on what's going on with this no contact period with this person sounds like somebody who don't know what they want all right messages spirit for gemini and the person they're in no contact with. Messages for Gemini and the person they're in no contact with, Spirit. Thank you. Any more messages, Spirit? Any or more messages? Oh, there's one. And any more? Anything else, Spirit? For Gemini and their person? All right. That's what I got. So, Gemini, what I have is 
open relationship. So this person thought that they were going to come in and they would just go casually date you and casually hang out and casually have sex and casually, casually, casually. That's what they thought. And they were dead wrong. Jim and I wasn't for it and you weren't standing for it and you let this person know and this person had to get on about their business. OK, um, they still have you in their energy and in their head. Um, this person may be a brunette male and or female, someone with dark hair. Um, this person is very intense and very focused on you and trying to figure out how to work the situation out. If you would, spirit, let me get some love situation oracles on this situation to get more clarity. And if this um, brunette male and or female does not match your situation, it doesn't have to be. These are just highlighted messages. Um, Spirit, if you would give me a little bit more with regard to the person Gemini is in no contact with. Give me more on this situation with Gemini and the person they're in no contact with. Let's see what Spirit has to say about it. But we do have that no need to worry over there. All right. Show me more Spirit. Gemini and their person. All right, there's one. Okay. There's some. Okay, what else? Ooh, okay. Anything else? With Gemini and their person? All right, thank you, Spirit. So, what I have is toxic. Um, this person <laughs> behaved in a very toxic manner because what typically happens, as I stated, when a person um, feels deeply for someone and they try to deny it, it sparks and um, activates that toxic. Uh, toxicity in them and they start doing a whole bunch of toxic stuff uh, not good for you low vibrational and toxic relationship that's what this was when this person started playing their games okay uh, heartbreak this person did break your heart because the way in which they left probably was not a good one and it like I said, was probably someone that ghosted you, someone that just left you high and dry. They didn't give you a real explanation on what was going on. They just felt like, OK, I, I have these feelings. I don't understand them, so I'm just going to run. And that's exactly what they did. Going in circles. So, yeah, this person is now going in circles, trying to figure out how to get this situation back in alignment because they know that they messed up um, pregnancy. Um, so I'm going to say that someone, uh, in this situation, this may not apply to everyone guys, just take what resonates. Um, someone, uh, may be pregnant in this situation. Either you got pregnant by this person and they ghosted you and didn't want to have anything to do with you or, um, the child that you have with them, or this person has someone else pregnant and they try to abandon you, um, because they didn't want you to know about it, but they don't have a choice because their heart is with you. So they are going to have to come and fess up to that. If that's the case, um, opposites, you guys were at complete opposites. Um, but that doesn't mean anything because what I know in relationships, a lot of times opposites attract. So it looks like this person felt like, ah, uh, this can't be right. Although I have these feelings, this person is total opposite of me. It can't work. Well, they were dead wrong vacation. It looks like this person may come in and try to offer to take you out on a vacation to get away from things and try to rebuild something solid with you. They are secretly stalking you. They're checking your social medias. They're driving by your house. They're doing everything that they can to try to get a feel for where you are and what you have going on um, against time. They feel like they are running out of time with this connection. They know that they have to make a move and they know that they have to make one very quickly. Um, Spirit, if you would, please give me some island time wellness with regard to this situation with um, Gemini and the person they're in no contact with. Give me a little bit more clarity on what happened with this situation, if you would, please. All right, let's see what we got, Gemini. What do you got? Spirit, any messages for Gemini? All right, anything else? Spirit says one more round. Let's see. Anything else for the Simon Gemini and the person they're in no contact with? All right. Come on. Anything else? All right. Let's see what we got. So I have boat um, receiving what you need progression arriving, moving on and closure issues. So yeah, this person is struggling with closing out this situation with you because they have feelings for you. 
They have feelings for you and they don't know what to do with them. Passion, insane chemistry, uh, like each other equally having fun. So this person, <laughs> this person has a lot of passion for you that they kept trying to deny and it did not work. Uh, mirror, mirroring each other, self image, reflection, um, of old wounds, introspection. So it looks like when this person pulled away, you pull, you started mirroring them. You're like, they don't want it. I don't want it either. I'm completely okay with it. No big deal. I'm not going to play this game with this person. Cupid's arrow. And this is the problem right here. Cupid's arrow have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation this person is going to make their move on you gemini this person has been struck by cupid's arrow and there is no denying a, a shot in the ass by cupid okay um the dragonfly be light-hearted finding out things coming to light adapting change and healing so um this person is going to come back okay and it's going to be very very important that you be lighthearted when they do, um, because they're going to be revealing some stuff to you. And I mean, just be there to listen. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Just hear the person out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some tarot on this spirit. If you would, please let me know how this person feels about Gemini. How's this person feel about Gemini spirit? If you would, please show me how this person feels about Gemini, the person they're in no contact with. How do they feel about Gemini? All right, let's get it. Guys, if you would, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Ace of Cups in reverse, because they feel like you ain't trying to hear them. They feel like you are not trying to hear them. They have love for you, but they're afraid to, to express it. They feel like they've messed up too bad. Anything else? Got some cards that are turned over in here. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. What is going on with this entire deck? All right. Let me shuffle again, guys. How's this person feeling about Gemini? But look at the bottom of the deck. The lovers is there. But if it'll come out again, it'll come out. If it's meant to come out, it will come out. All right. And... Let me cut it one more time. How's this person feeling about Gemini? That Ace of Cups in reverse. They they have a lot of love for you, but they feel like you're not going to accept it. All right, let's see. The Wheel of Fortune. They want a new beginning with you, a new cycle. And one more. Um, judgment. Uh, no, the Hangman in reverse. They've thought about it long and hard, and they are making the decision um, to uh, try to pursue something with you. So they, they thought about it. They're now out of that hangman position. They know exactly what this situation is. Spirit, if you would, please show me how, um, the, how Gemini feels about this person. How does Gemini feel about this person? Nine of cups. They are your wish fulfillment. How does Gemini feel about this person? Six of Pentacles, you want to invest in having equal give and take relationship with this person. One more. Five of Cups in reverse, but you're not worried about it. You're like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going to set my sights on it. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to worry about it. If this person wants me, then that's good. And if they don't, I'm completely okay with that as well. So give me just one second. Can you show me, Spirit, what action is this person going to take towards Gemini from the 23rd of January to the 30th? What actions is this person going to take? But just keep in mind, they got that against the time um, right here. And the no need to worry is a highlighted message from Spirit. So let's see what action are they going to take towards you? What actions? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. What else? Walking away from being stuck in their head. And what else? All 
uh, five of wands in reverse. They don't want to fight with you anymore. So they're walking away from being up in their heads about the situation and they don't want to do the fighting. What else? Give me more clarity, spirit. Um, just keep in mind with this will of fortune, this person may be a Sagittarius um, with the Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo and or Capricorn, the Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio and or Pisces, um, the hanged man. I'm going to say on the hanged man that this could possibly be a um, Pisces as well or Virgo. Let me see. Spirit, if you would, please show me what else, what actions is this person going to take? We know what they want and they want to walk away from being in their heads. Look at that. Six of cups. So they will be returning and the two of cups in reverse because they don't know if they can fix this situation, but they do have love. Um, so this person is possibly going to reach out to you um, within uh, the 23rd through the 30th to try to work the situation out with you. So it's going to be up to you whether or not that's something that you want with this person. OK, um, Gemini. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope it gives you clarity. I hope it gives you peace and I hope it gives you direction. Thank you so much for your time. Please comment, like, share and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Take care.